It was an idea that I had. I wanted to do a show. I read about all the little girls from the Middle West, Minneapolis, etc., who ran away from home and went to New York thinking, boy, it was going to be just great. And because they were so young, 13, 14, 15, they didn't know how to do anything, and they became hookers because pimps picked them up. And there was a part of New York that was called the Minnesota Strip because it was filled with these little kids from the Middle West. And I thought, wouldn't it be interesting to do a movie about a, a girl of 15 who goes to New York, becomes a prostitute for a year, and then because she's 15, she wants to go home back to Minneapolis. Now, the movie starts when how does a girl who's had this experience in New York, how does she go back to high school? How does she go back to a 16-year-old boyfriend? How does she go back to her family? That's what the movie is. Starts when she goes home. And then I had to find a writer and I had been working with David Chase, and he's great. So I told him the idea, and he wanted to do it. So we wrote a script. And I took it to ABC, and they wanted to do it. And I said, I will sell it to you on one condition. One, don't change a word. I want it to be on the screen exactly the way it is on the page. So they agreed, and we hired a man called Lamont Johnson, who's a very good director. And we began, Monty Johnson and David and I, we began looking for girls to play this part. And we began reading girls, and we couldn't find anyone. And then we, we got tickets to go to New York because we decided we could probably find someone in New York. And the day before we were to leave for New York, a girl came in to read for us by the name of Mayor Winningham. And she read. And she was perfect. She was about 18. And I said to her, how come you know so much about this little girl? And she said, I have a really good feeling in my heart about girls like that. Well, she was so good, I couldn't believe it. And she'd done practically nothing in her life in film. So naturally, we hired her. Naturally, we didn't go to New York, and we made the film. Hal Holbrook played her father. And it was, it was a remarkable film. Jim Brooks saw it, and he called me up, and he said, it's awesome. It's just awesome. I never saw anything so good. And I'm very proud of it. And David got an Emmy for writing it and also co-producing it. He, 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 he won an Emmy, and he should have. 